Okay, so yes, I'm going to record this introduction before I even do the story, so you guys are going to be hearing this before you guys actually hear the story, so this is going to replace the actual introduction I had recorded previously. So with that said, let's get into what I wanted to tell you. So I watched Bird Box last night, and I'm about to watch it again tonight. I'm thinking I either want to do uh, like top 10 things about Bird Box or a top five or something, or maybe a review of Bird Box. If you guys want to see that, let me see. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'll also do a poll on my channel. And yes, guys, we are doing a cartoon creepypasta in this episode. We are doing a Paw Patrol's creepypasta. This is this guy's first creepypasta, so don't judge it too bad. Stay for the end get the watch time up, you know, stay for the end. Uh, I'll do a review at the end if you guys want to hear the review. Um, with that said, I'm going to read this story. If you guys like it, hit that subscribe button down below with notification bells on. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep doing cartoon creepypastas. I've decided, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to keep fighting the good fight. The YouTube can try to kill our community all they want, but I'm going to keep fighting the good fight and bring that shit back to life. With that said, be sure to hit that subscribe button below with the notification bell on. Drop a like on this video. Let's see if we can get like 50 likes. Um, leave a comment down below telling me whether you guys want to see more cartoon creepypastas and a review of the bird box, etc, etc. And also follow me on Twitter, my Discord, my Snapchat, and my Reddit. Go follow all those and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace. Alright, so before this video starts, this is this guy's first creepypasta. Don't judge it too bad, but I've already said that in the intro. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what I want to say is I should be streaming on Twitch by the time that this video is uploaded. Uh, go check the link down below and you guys will see me stream. With that said, let's go ahead and get right into this creepypasta. My name is Jordan, and I'm not your average 23-year-old. I enjoy watching Nick Jr. Why? I just get some good laughs out of characters messing up and whatnot. So when I heard there was a new show called Paw Patrol coming to Nick Jr., I was ecstatic. I couldn't wait to see another clumsy character like Gil from Bubble Guppies. I watched the pilot episode Pups and the, and the Kitty Tastrophe and I was instantly hooked. I mean, sure. Talking dogs have been done before by shows like Pound Puppies and 101 Dalmatians, but this was different. This show was focused around teaching young children how to work together and help the community, which, in my opinion, is more valuable than teaching them another language. However, my absolute favorite character had to be Marshall. He was a Dalmatian, which already gives him points in my mind. But he was also clumsy, not like really clumsy, just in a comical sense. Plus, he was so brave, just like me. But enough about that. The reason I am here today is to tell you of a lost episode of Paw Patrol supposedly set to air after Pups Make a Splash slash Pups Fall Festival. However, it wasn't aired, and there was no explanation given as to why. Spin Master simply stated it didn't really fit the atmosphere of the show. I thought that that was bullshit. They were all set to air a new episode, and then they cancel it at the last second. Who does that? I decided to ask around to see if anyone had any knowledge of this lost episode. Unsurprisingly, I got nowhere. I either got a, no, a, what are you talking about, there's no lost episodes of Paw Patrol, or a look like I just killed somebody, which made no sense whatsoever. Which made no sense whatsoever, but there was one man, I'm assuming in his mid-30s, who knew what I was talking about. He told me he used to work for Nickelodeon Studios back in the good old days, when cartoons like Spongebob were just starting. He said he had worked there as recently as a month ago, but then quit. 
When I asked him why he quit, he said the following. We were brainstorming new ideas for the show Paw Patrol when someone asked if we should have one of the pups die during a rescue attempt. I got up and shouted, are you insane? This is a kid's show. We can't depict death. Do you know how many viewers would lose for that? Do you know how many viewers we would lose for that? It's not happening and slam the door. That was the last day I clocked in. I then decided to jump straight to the point. I asked him if he had a copy of the lost episode. To my utmost surprise, he said, I think I do. Actually, it's the last copy in existence. At least the last one I know of. You can have it, no charge. I was dumbfounded by those words. He was giving me what was possibly the last copy of the Lost Paw Patrol episode for free. He even told me it's never been watched before. I couldn't help but smile and say thanks man. I received a you're welcome anytime in response. If only I knew then what I know. The horror that was in that disc. I got home at around 4 o'clock p.m. Played a few minutes of Halo then decided to watch the lost episode of Paw Patrol. I popped it in and to my surprise a DVD like menu screen came up. The options were play, scene select, extras, options, and the last one which I found kind of funny, wuss out. Maybe it was just a joke for more hardcore fans of Paw Patrol? I decided to play it safe and pick the options menu. In it, there were settings for subtitles, voice volume, music volume, and language. Nothing out of the ordinary there. I then went to check extras. A big red no popped up on the screen when I selected it. No, I said to myself, but I figured I just had to watch the episode first. I wish I had wussed out. The normal Paw Patrol opening played as it should. No distorted music, no jump scares, none of that crap. It wasn't until the end that it was strange. And by strange, I mean it was missing the bark at the end when the logo shines over. But I figured that was to be expected since this was an unfinished episode. Embraced myself for the title card. There barely was one, I mean it was just a plain white background with four words etched into it, in black. The title of the lost episode's Pups Yelp for Help. I immediately thought, I hope this isn't a Rick roll or something like that, I mean don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Rick Ashley, I had just heard his most famous song Never Gonna Give You Up about a million times. Thankfully it was an actual episode. It started out just like pups make a splash, rubble riding on a skateboard on the way to Katie's vet clinic. He looked perfectly normal too. I started thinking this was just a big practical joke. The guy played on me. But I kept watching. However, instead of the vet, rubble skated up to the lookout. I mean, it was edited so well that it looked like an actual episode where he really was skating to the lookout. That, however, is when things began to get weird. Zuma was waiting outside with Rocky, and Ryder was nowhere in sight. When Rubble skated up to the entrance, Zuma said, Wubble, thank goodness you're back. Wida was worried about you. Rubble replied with, Ryder was worried about me, why? Then Rocky chimed in, and what he said sent up red flags in my head. Something's happened inside. I think it's another mission, but I don't feel good about this one. Don't ask why, but after he said that, I began sweating profusely. Did something happen to Ryder or one of the other pups? My fears were put to rest when the normal elevator sequence began. However, it was just those three. I was confused until it reached the top, where Chase, Marshall, and Skye were already in position. However, Chase did not say his usual ready for action rider sir line. Instead, it went something like Paw Patrol is ready for action. This unnerved me as I really liked Ryder and he was nowhere to be seen. 
Marshall said what I was thinking a short time later. Where's Ryder? He got replies from the other pups in this order. Chase, I don't know, but this isn't normal. Sky, you're telling me. Rocky, this is kind of creepy, isn't it? Zuma, you said it, dude. Then without warning, Ryder appeared on the giant screen. All of the pups let out a small scream of surprise. I couldn't tell where he was, but it looked too well animated to be CGI. He then said, sorry about that pups, I didn't mean to scare you. He was met with, Ryder, where are you and why aren't you here from Rocky? What he said next made my blood turn to ice. It was so unexpected. I will never ever forget the next words Ryder said. Well, I was on my way back to the lookout, but my ATV broke down. I tried calling for help, but nobody could hear me, and then I sort of fell through a portal, and now I'm in the real world. All six pups' jaws dropped as I yelled out the immortal words, WTF. All right, guys, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this story. Uh, my review on it. This is this guy's first uh, story. This is his first creepypasta he's ever written. It's obviously pretty cliche. There's a lot of cliche moments in it. And the ending is kind of goofy. Like, uh, had, like, Ryder, or he fell through a portal that took him to the real world. That just, it, may, it, it just comes out of the blue. It comes out of nowhere. It makes no sense. But I like the story. Aside from a couple like cliche parts in the middle and the beginning, you guys already know the cliche parts. You guys probably heard it and was like, oh, this is cliche story. But again, this is this guy's first story. And to be honest, this isn't like a terrible story for it being. Ex Sorry, I hit my mic for this being somebody's first story. This isn't a terrible story. But that ending, bro, that ending just kind of like jumped out of nowhere. The ending kind of doesn't make sense. But other than that, it's a pretty good story. I'm going to see if this guy's ever written any other stories of his own. You guys can uh, click the link down in the description below. You guys will be taken to this guy's story and you guys can read it for your guys' self. Uh, tell me what you guys think of it. Leave a comment in the comment section down below telling me what your guys' thoughts are. And don't forget, I should be live on Twitch right after this comes up. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.